teased. If you guys enjoyed the intro or enjoy what you see here, go follow SM underscore battle underscore stories on Instagram or get some work done yourself. What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we have WWE Action Figure Surgery Episode number 7, and we got a few switches and swappages and stuff as in... Stuff that we're going to be doing today, guys. So first of all, I guess we can go ahead and get into what we're going to be doing today. Uh, we have my boy AJ Styles over here, the phenomenal one. He is, uh, this is the Elite 47 figure, his first ever Elite. And what we're going to be doing with this figure is we're going to be taking these extra Elite 56 uh, kick pads that I have and these black open knee pads. We're going to slide the black open knee pads on here and we're going to be popping these kick pads on here. I think that'll be fresh. Uh, I've seen a few people do this swap before, you know, because it has like white in the logo with blue outline and um, I think this on there will be a really nice touch. Since I have like four of these Elite 47 AJ Styles, um, why not go ahead and do that swap? So we'll, we'll do that swap right there. We'll see what that looks like. We also have a Kenny Omega right here. Kenny Omega in the wheelchair and that's the start of one at least and it's a uh, commissioned order so what I'm going to do I've already acetoned all the logos off the pants using 100% uh, acetone and what we're going to be doing is taking the parts that uh, my boy sent me I think it's GJL Wrestling is the Kenny Omega this is his I believe um, we're going to be taking uh, his knee pads sliding them on there putting the CM Punk kick pads on there and then we're going to be switching these arms out with these Dolph Ziggler arms because I want him to have white wrist tape I think it'll look a lot better so we're going to, uh, and these arms are a bit smaller, you know, these are way too jacked for me. Um, these are too jacked in my opinion, honestly, too, but I think these are better than these massive ones. So what we're going to do is switch out the arms and then switch out the hands with these hands. That way he has blank hands but white wrist tape. You know, Kenny wears that thick white wrist tape, so this will be perfect for that. And then we'll pop the kick, oh my god! And then we'll pop the kick pads on there with the knee pads, and then we'll pop the DDP head skin on there, and it will be ready for painting and all of that good stuff. So that is what we're going to be doing with the Kenny Omega. And then the last swap, or I don't know what order we'll do it in, but one of the swaps is this Cesaro. I hate these large knee pads, and I don't know why I ever put them on there, but we're going to be switching these out. I'm going to take these off, and I'm going to put these red open knee pads on there. I think this will look these what the hell am i saying these will look nice uh with the red tying in there you got black and white boots red knee pads and then the trunks and everything i think these will look perfect on the cesaro figure so that's what we're going to be doing today guys i guess we'll start off with cesaro since it's not that big of a deal then we'll do aj styles then we'll do the cleaner kenny omega all right guys starting out first we're going to take the trusty white hair dryer right here you guys know my favorite color is white and we're going to be popping uh the boots off so let's go ahead and hit it whoops all right, let's go ahead and hit it. All right, guys, we'll see if this is good enough. Go ahead and pop it the boot off. Jesus Christ. One boot. Second boot. Should be able to slide them right off. Shouldn't be too difficult. I don't know why Mattel gives us these knee pads. I mean, I know that, like, they're more accurate, but at the same time, Brad, it's like, Come on, man. They, they totally kills the articulation. I don't know how anybody... Uh, like, unless you pull them down, there's literally no way you can do it. So there we go. We got both knee pads off there. Now we're going to have to stick the red ones on there. Let's make sure we know which side is which. This one says L, so I believe this is the left one. All right, pretty much got that one on, and then going over to the right side. And there we go. So we got the red knee pads on there. Now we're going to put the boots back on. They should be hot enough to pop all the way on. Jesus all right, there's the one, and there's the other one. So there we go, and yeah, it's not too bad. I mean, it's not it's not as, like, great as, you know. And there we have Cesaro in all his glory, guys. Tell me down in the comment section below what you think of the red knee pads. We'll take a closer look at everything, you know, once it's all done. But I like the way it looks. You know, it's better than the large knee pads. You know, we'll be able to actually bend his knees now and stuff like that when he appears on Vindication in the future. So now that Cesaro's done, we can get rid of his large knee pads. And now we'll move on to the phenomenal AJ Styles. All right, guys, so getting into AJ Styles, um, for him, it should be pretty easy. All we have to do is heat up the kick pads because I'm pretty Pretty sure the knee pads should go straight on and then we'll just pop his uh, kick pads on there and it should be relatively easy all right guys well I blew one of the kick pads straight off the effing table but here we go we're gonna pop oh, sn oh snap I forgot about the knee pads first we got to put the knee pads on first hopefully the kick pads are still hot enough when we uh, 
finally get these knee pads on. Hopefully they'll just pop right on. I won't have to reheat them up. All right, got the one knee pad and the second knee pad. So now we're gonna find out, moment of truth, if these kick pads will still pop on here. You know what, screw it. Just F it, we'll just heat them up again. All right guys, my God, this is just get out of my way, hair dryer. All right, now it should be good enough. Sweet Lord God, it will not pop on. And finally, for the love of sweet, merciful Jesus Christ, we finally get the one kick pad on. And I don't know what's up with this left side, but it's on now, and that's all that matters. It's on now, it's on now, it's freaking on now. And there we go, guys. There's AJ Styles with his blue, white, and black kick pads on there. I think, I mean, it's solid. It's not uh, It's not perfect by any means, but you can see it ties into the white and everything. It's a change of pace. Uh, like I said, the only reason I did this is because I have so many different AJ Styles from Elite 47. I think I have four of them. And so, I I, I mean, I think it, was, it, it made sense to go ahead and switch these extra kick pads over here. That way I'd have a little bit of a variant to one of the AJs. So now that AJ Styles and Cesaro are done, we are moving on to the cleaner. Kenny Omega. Alright guys, so the way I'm going to do this is probably just stick all this stuff right here and see if I can heat it all up at once. That way maybe I can pull out the hands, the arms, and switch everything all at once. I doubt it, but you know what? We're, we're going to give it a shot here. And it's going to take some good precision with a good old trusty hair dryer, but uh, let's try it out. Alright, that was a pretty long time, guys. Let's see if the arms will pop off right here. Holy Christ, it's hot. All right, I think we got the one arm off. Come on, get the one arm off. God, his chest is freaking on fire. It's like he got sunburned. All right, we got the one arm. Got the second arm. Got the one hand. Got the other hand. Now pop these arms over here. Got the Dolph Ziggler arms on there. One arm, other arm. Now will these hands pop out? One hand. Second hand, and now, like, see how much better this looks, guys? Looks way more accurate to Kenny Omega, as you guys can see with the uh, this torso, the white wrist tape. Go ahead and get that arm all the way on there. And, yeah, this this is much better, I think, than the uh, bigger arms. If these arms, I, I don't know why that's sort of like, like that. But anyways, uh, now we're going to put the knee pads on there while that cools off. If I can figure out, you know, which side is which. Alright, it says this is the left one, so we'll put this on the left side. And then we have the other one, which obviously, if there's only one left, that means that it goes on the right side. Just like so. So now we have both knee pads on the Kenny. So here's what we're working with. Now we're going to have to heat up the kick pads. And then we'll heat up the inner holes of the arms, unless they'll just go in. I doubt they'll just go in, but you never know. We'll, we'll just try it here. Oh, it's it's going, but will it go all the way? Nah, we'll just heat that up after the kick pads. So what we'll do is we'll heat up the kick pads and the head scan, and then we'll come back, heat the arms up, and plug those hands in. Alright guys, we'll see if this is good enough. We'll go ahead and pop the head scan on there first. And that literally went straight on there. That was kind of weird. Um, I guess we can see if the hand will plug in now. I doubt it will, but you never know. Yes, yeah, still so stupid. All right, so we'll go here with the kick pads. We'll get this le uh, left kick pad on first. Got that one. And then moving on to the right side. And just like that. So we have both kick pads, head scan, and arms. So now all we have to do is plug in the hands, and this uh, will be ready to be painted up an ish. So here we have all of the things that we did here on WWE Action Figure Surgery episode number 7. Guys, pretty happy with all the swaps. The only thing that I would say is that Kenny Omega is clearly way too tall. You know, he's not supposed to be this height. He's supposed to be probably between Cesaro and AJ Styles. He's around like 6'2", I do believe. 6'1", 6'2". I think Cesaro's like 6'3", or 6'4". And then AJ Styles like 5'10", 5'11", or 6' foot at the height, or at the tallest. So, I mean, I think he's clearly too tall, but that's just because of those lower legs that are on there. You can actually take some AJ Styles uh, lower legs and pop those on there and that would make it a lot more accurate in height. It would actually be the perfect height. But I do like the Macho Man torso, shoulders, and upper legs and crotch for a Kenny Omega. The only thing that is making him too tall is those lower legs. So if you could switch those out 
or if you want to send me the parts to uh, fix that, we could easily take care of that. I may have some. If I do have some, I'll switch it out for you. But um, I'm happy. Again, like I said, I'm going to paint this up. I don't know what attire I'm going to do. He said that I can do whichever one I want. I may do a fantasy attire. I don't know. I like doing fantasy attires. Those are my thing. They're very fun to do. And I'm happy with all the switches. Again, like I said, Elite 56 kick pads on this AJ Styles looks great. Um, the Cesaro knee pads are going to be a lot better as far as articulation goes and the pick fetting. It'll be a lot funner to pose. And yeah, the Kenny Omega, I'm ready to get painted on him and get started doing that. But that pretty much does it for this video, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.